I have an S credit for you this week, and that is, David, if you're given $25,000 and a plane ticket to anywhere in the world, but you have to leave tonight, right now, where are you going? How long am I going for? You got 25 grand, whatever you want to do. You're getting 25 cash plus a plane ticket to wherever you want to go. And I have to leave tonight. This moment. Where okay. are you going? Uh, give me some responses for some. Um, the next nearest airport and then fly back home with my money. Oh, so you have to go to get so the money? Fly from Orlando to Tampa or Tampa to Orlando. Okay. And then because pa- yeah. part of my thought process was using some of that money to like buy a ticket for mom to come down and watch mm. the baby so I can go somewhere. But... You could do that. Yeah. So okay. first response was fly to the closest airport and then fly back home with my money. Okay. Uh, Bora Bora. Mm, okay. Scotland. Uh, Las Vegas. Roulette. One spin. Red. <laughs> so fly to Vegas. Drop the 25 on red. Fly back home. So that's. I've always had like that internal monologue like I'm, I'm going to go to Vegas and just take like 10 grand and put it on a color. Because mm-hmm. roulette's probably like the best odds you have out of any game there. Mm-hmm. Like you have a 50% chance of winning. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at that because it's also f- technically free money. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I, that wouldn't be my answer. I just like that's always been like a I'm going to do that one day. Uh, maybe kind of lame, but I would fly to South Carolina, watch the sunrise on a beach and then fly to San Diego to watch the sunset on a beach. Could damn Jolene, could you do that? Calm down. Could you <laughs> could you make that timing? Mm, I think so. Oh, it may be easier to go to Florida somewhere like Daytona Beach for the sunrise and then rent a car to St. Petersburg for the sunset. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be a much shorter drive between those two cities compared to flying cross country, allowing you time to enjoy both of them a little bit instead of waiting around at airports on a flight most of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fukuoka, Japan. Fukuoka, Japan. Just an overnight trip for... Um, I don't even know what any of these words are. Um... I'd love to visit Antarctica. Maybe not the best time of the year, but given the opportunity, I would love, I would leave tonight. Um, Thailand, Cuba, drink rum and smoke cigars. Um, do I have to spend the money? If not the cheapest destination in return. Okay. So that seems to be a common answer. Um, you have to declare over 10. Oh, this is a good one. You have to declare over 10,000 over borders. Better not give me the cash or fly over a border. That's a good one. Like international border. So if okay. you get you get that money, yeah, that's not bad. Um, to that farm upstate where they sent my dog, she'll be so happy to see me again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Oh Lord. Um, going to Hawaii, Hawaii, uh, Poland. I need to take my kids to Auschwitz. I think everyone should see it. Oh, Ooh. What? Uh, come on, come on! You get anywhere in the world? Let's go there. Nah, come on. Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Yeah, like that's where you're gonna go. Oh shit. They're starting the fireworks. God damn it. Uh, Venice, so Italy. We start in storms over here. Lay down. Japan. Lay down. I can't go anywhere tonight. I'm going to call until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Japan, Austria, Singapore, Thailand. Any, any reason for those? Uh, let's see. Singapore, 100%. I've also wanted to go there. It's impressive how they've changed that tiny island into what it is today. Thailand for a thing with a ding a <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, Japan, yep, I went there last month. I immediately want to go back. Uh, even Supart immediately wanted me to give the smart-ass response of Disney World. In reality, I had to go to Rome. The money wouldn't last long, but God, I'd love it there. At my, as, at my last vacation, the food was amazing. The people were kind, and the art was gorgeous. Hmm. Um, grabbing my well, girlfriend and going to Iceland because there are no mosquitoes there. Also, it looks nice. There's no mosquitoes in Iceland? It's cold. I mean, so is Maryland. Well, yeah, that's why there's no mosquitoes in the winter. Got you right here. Yes, Iceland is one of the few countries in the world that is mosquito-free. Wow. That must be crazy for somebody who's in Iceland and then goes on vacation, and they're like, what the fuck? What? What? What's happening? <laughs> what the fuck is this craziness? What are you people living right. in right now? Like, oh, that's pretty cool. And uh, that's my Ask Reddit for you. So what would, what would yours be? Um, with 25k, I would go to, I'd go to the UK. Um, I'd play golf 
in Ireland on the like right on the on the ocean. I'd go to Scotland and camp out in the in the highlands. I'd go to England and go see like a soccer match and then the rest of it I would just drink and like go see historic sites. Would you shit in that ocean? The Atlantic? Yeah. I just thought you had a thing for shitting in big bodies of water. Well, if I was in Ireland and had to do that, I'd be standing on like a 200 foot cliff, like off the green shitting. <laughs> and I might have a chance to also hit a seagull while I did that. Oh, so we're going to the air, the air animals. Mm-hmm. It'd be an air animal on land and got shit on in a different country. I feel like that'd be a natural cycle and I'd automatically win the game. Uh, I, I, I have something to say, but I got to make sure. Okay. So if you shit on a bird, mm-hmm. you could score a condor. But what if it's like a baby bird that fell out of its nest and it's just helpless on the ground? I was like, oh, condor coming at you. Well, the point, I was, the point I was trying to make is you'd be four under par with such a rare feat. But a condor is also a bird, so you could shit on a condor. Oh, I see what you mean. So we'd be like double entendre thing. Has anyone ever hit a double entendre below par? You could be the first one. It's a big could. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot needs to happen for that I could. I don't even know if condors lived there. <laughs> um. Okay. So my answer would be uh, either Australia or Hawaii. Okay. I I didn't see any Australias, but definitely a lot of Hawaii's. And uh, my reasoning for that is I texted my wife and said, if you could leave and go anywhere in the world tonight, where would it be? And those were her answers. Australia for the animals. I can get that for her. And Hawaii just for the destination. Right. Okay. At least she didn't say South Carolina to watch the sunrise. <laughs> yeah. And then and then L.A. to watch the sunset. Yeah. 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 So, well, well, speaking of my wife, 